So now I'm going to give you a quick introduction to searching, um, mainly the emotional element of searching, which I know sounds weird, but when you start a new search, um, this word cloud was actually generated by a class of new nursing students when I asked them how they felt when they were given a new research project or a new research paper to do. And uh, the size of the words corresponds to how many people typed in that word. And the you can see the um, biggest word is overwhelmed. And believe it or not, librarians who have been searching for years still sometimes feel overwhelmed too when they're given a new research project because it feels like, oh my gosh, where do I start? There's so much to think about. And so getting organized can really help you. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is that um, a lot of times when people have shown you how to search in the past or maybe you've been through another searching class, Librarians usually only have an hour to teach searching, and so they make searching look like this. They, they talk about how to identify concepts, put together some keywords related to your search, um, how to create search strings, taking a look at your search results, maybe filtering them, and then by the end of the class, boom, you've found that perfect record that you're looking for. Well, this is mythical. It, searching never happens this way. It's never just, oh, great, there's the record I was looking for. Searching always seems to look like this, especially for a project that's um, like a research paper or something long term. You'll, you'll identify your concepts and keywords, you'll run some searches, you'll take a look at what you found and it's not what you were hoping for. But you may have discovered a new concept or keyword related to your search and then you have to repeat. You go back and change your search strings, you find new stuff, you look at that stuff and you make decisions about what you're going to do next. This is what searching looks like and that's okay. What's important is to give yourself time and space. Don't start a search expecting for it to only take one day or one searching session. Take notes, keep notes, realize that you may have to come back multiple times and change your search and evolve your search. Um, the method that I'm going to teach through this series of videos is a method that librarians really use and I use every time I search and I promise that it does work. I have a lot of students come in, we go through these steps, we, we use these strategies and I give them, you know, they leave with good references and so have confidence, have faith in the process. But this, And if you learn these steps and if you learn the process, this will start to become second nature. So you'll start to be able to manage those emotions that come along uh, with getting a search assignment. But some searches are weird and they're just not working. And so if search isn't working for you, never f be afraid to make an appointment with a librarian. It's fast, easy, you can do it on Zoom. Most of them take 30 minutes and we can search together and I can take a look at what's going on um, and, and maybe help you make some tweaks to get where you need to be. The other thing you have to know about searching is that it's really an art and a science. Uh, there's no method that will work right on the first try every time, but every search does have that sweet spot. You have to learn about your search as you go. You'll figure out what the keywords are that are right for you, filters you need to apply, strategies to get what you need. Um, but every search is different, so it's always a process, so always give yourself that time and space to search. Search problems that come up, uh, usually there are too many, two major issues that are basically causing a lot of frustration. And that is not taking a few minutes to plan your search before you start putting words into a search box. Just sitting down and typing some words into a search box usually leads to frustration um, because when you're talking to a computer, you have to be intentional about what you're asking it to do. The second thing is just giving up after a few bad searches and thinking there's nothing out there, I'm never going to be able to do this because as I said, your first search is almost never going to be your best search. So in the next series of videos, we'll be going through um, some steps to the a natural searching process. Um, you'll be filling out a worksheet alongside watching the videos that uh, can help you give some structure to your searching process as well.